trampoline parks, ninja parks, nerf war parks. Now let's talk about them. We get about a case a week from somebody who's been hurt at one of these places. Forget about the waivers. What matters is if you are doing something and you get hurt, for example, you're jumping on the trampoline and you roll your ankle or you blow your knee out, it's gonna be very difficult to recover anything from that facility because you have assumed the risk of that activity by going and doing what you did. Now, on the other hand, if you're jumping on the trampoline and it hasn't been maintained correctly and three of springs pop and you go flying through the trampoline material and hit the floor and break your leg, that is absolutely something that you can pursue. We've had cases where people jump in foam ball pits and they hit a metal beam because there's only one layer of foam, about six, eight inches of foam when there should have been about three or four feet. We've had cases where people are running and there's a bolt sticking out from one of the ninja ramp that's been built. They ankle. That's not something you would expect to happen at any kind of facility. Be very careful because a lot of them have defects that you would not expect. A lot of them don't have the proper padding. There's very limited adult staff. If you are hurt, insist on making a report and make sure to take pictures, get witnesses names because this can become extremely important in establishing causation. If you're hurt, feel free to call us. We'll shoot you straight. If it's something where we say, hey, that was probably something where uh, you just assume the risk and it's going to be very hard to recover, then we'll tell you straight from the beginning. We don't want to waste our time or yours.